music's very loud. I can barely hear myself think. Yeah, me too. Do you want to stay? Stay? Well, I mean, like, for the party. I mean, after what happened with Plag and everything. I was trying to tell you something important. And then, with the Kelpie showing up from Scotland, falling in love with Plag. I had no idea he had lovers in the past. Um, then there was the, the same creature who was a female. I'm sorry, she kissed me. I didn't know. She was kissing a lot of guys. I think she was trying to find the right kiss. <laughs> or the right guy. You did have the scent of Plague's Ganonbeer on you. Yeah. Luckily for us, um, her mom showed up. Thank goodness for that, right? Mm hmm. You were going to tell me something? I can't tell you to the crowd. You'd have to go. We'll have to slip through the cracks over there, in the corner, away from the people. How far? Where is no human anywhere? Oh, gee. Well, we don't even know all the inhabitants in this planet. Or even on this island, for that matter. What if they attack us? Well, I guess we'll have to dig a fire chance. Bite our chances? <laughs> you know, she bit me like a vampire. You sure she wasn't a Kelpie vampire or something? What the heck is a Kelpie anyway? Mm, we're supposed to be a pretty white horse. Um, in this case, she was a very pretty white horse that I almost rode into the sea like an idiot the cat that you are. How was I supposed to know? I thought it was part of the shoot. Oh, sure you did. Shoot. What shoot? You know, the one for, um... Oh, yeah. When Adrian was doing that model thing. You really thought it was part of the props? Well, how was I supposed to know it wasn't a pretty horse that was made for him to do his modeling gig? Hmm. Might be on something there. She disguised herself quite well. She almost had Adrian, too. Yeah. I mean, not through the kisses, of course. Because no one could kiss as... You know, someone you want to kiss. At least, I'm hoping so. Why? Do you think you're a good kisser? Uh, well, I mean... I did kind of throw myself into that, didn't I? Absolutely did. Oh. Well, the truth is, you keep going around about this guy that you like, but you never say who he is. You didn't think he's an imaginary friend. No, he's not an imaginary friend. He's real. Oh, is he? If he's so real, then why can't you say his name? Because it's at the tip of my tongue. Uh-huh. Don't do that. Don't do what? That. <laughs> Why does this remind me of the time she got snapped up into the umbrella? Your face is red as a rose now. What? No! Where's the mirror? Hey, you got a compact mirror. Cool. Well, if I wear makeup, I have to for a photo shoot. Oh my gosh, but you're right. Why am I looking like this? It's just you. Just me? Oh, I feel so offended. <laughs> Hit me with your best shot. 
Exaggerator, you know that? <laughs> now, are you playing dead? Well, I know ladybugs do it, but um, cats can do it, dogs can do it, possums are really good at doing it. <laughs> what? Nothing. It just. I never knew that you could be so enjoyable to be around. I always penned you as someone that... That? That didn't have that much joy in him. Whatever are you talking about? Marinette to punch Don't do that either. You know that makes me mad when Chloe does that. What? Marinette DuPont chain. Stop that. <laughs> Serves you right. You're the one that led me on and then left. Led? Oh, there they. No, you're sounding like Nathaniel when I was trying to help Ladybug find him and get him to be comatized. I don't leave anyone on. Oh? Statue agent aggressed. Oh no, don't go there. <laughs> I'm loving this so much. I bet you are. See, the thing is, I. I was pretending. Pretending. Go on with the pretending. I was pretending. I was saying that I was in love with him. But if I was in love with him, it wouldn't be as a statue. It would be as a real human being. I was practicing. Practicing? Yeah. How do I know you wasn't using him as a dummy? You know, like some people have their stuffed animals. They kiss on them. And I bet you have a ladybug pillow. Guilty. Ouch. Very guilty. Wait, you do? Yeah, something like that. Don't tell me it's a body pillow. Body pillow? Well, um... You know, you might give me some ideas with that. Ew. I don't want to know. <laughs> You said it, not me. <laughs> Who's the one's dirty-minded? Mm. Guilty. Do you only show your teeth to a ladybug like that? Mm. What? The way you just laughed. You showed your full teeth. Do you always do that with every girl? No. You do a ladybug, don't you? Yeah. You do that with me? Wait, there's a trend here. I didn't think, feeling, you like me enough to let down your guard and show your full teeth. That day that I broke you, did you really think I loved you? I don't want to go there. We finally made up for when you walked away from the dance. I don't think I can go there with that. I'm sorry. Hmm. <clears throat> You see, Ladybug, each time I try to talk to her, even to become her friend, she always turned me down. I just wanted to get to know her. 
She wouldn't even let that happen. And there are traits in you that are similar to hers. What? Uh huh? What? There are traits in you that is very similar to hers. I can't explain it, nor do I want to. It's just a feeling I have. That's why when I saw you on the beach, I thought it would be okay. I thought we could get to know one another. At least become good friends, you know? But I don't see that happening anytime soon. Even with you. Cat, wait. I am reserved. I have so much on my plate these days. I don't even think about romance. I'm sorry. Try to go with the flow. You don't have to like be with someone or date them to be around them. You can also be their friend, you know. But you want much more than that, don't you? Maybe you should be the one asking that question. You seem like you're the one who wanted it more than I did. Your body language said it anyway. Whether your tone was different. It's like your soul was crying out for it. Again, I don't want to go there. I don't want to place feeling on any of us. Or, thank you, or what, for always putting my heart on line for someone who doesn't want me. For going into battle, defeating the enemy, to make her shine. I'm not asking to be a trophy boy or a beefcake or a golden boy. I just want her to be proud of me in her eyes. That's all I ask. Even if it's not romantic for it's only platonic. I just want her near me. Well, if you brush off on that smell of cannonbear, maybe she wouldn't mind me lying in love. Wait, cannonbear? <laughs> oh, eh, you're right. I wouldn't want to be around me either. I must speak. I must stink to I have. <laughs> I'd run off the gods and the goddesses. <laughs> I make the pigeons lower their heads into the sand of the beach. Seagulls were running through the trees. <laughs> and if you took bath in the sea, they would go as deep into the ocean as they possibly could. <laughs> to get away from that smell. <laughs> I can hear you now. <laughs> I'm sure uh, Ayabud's Kwame would be laughing 
historically right now. So, good friends? I guess. Yes or no? Okay. Good friends. <laughs> Teeth again. That means you're comfortable with me, right? Uh, yeah. I guess so. I know this is a ladybug and you thing, but... Found it? Oh. That's... You know, I do it all kinds of stupid here, so it's fine. Found it. With that out of the way, what else do you want to do? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, give me a moment, okay? Cool. Okay. Oh no. I, uh... <clears throat> Transformation is getting ready to. Well, time out. Yeah, something like that. I need to feel feed my Kwame. Yeah, you wouldn't be mad, would you? No. Is this what you want to talk about, though? It was more than that. I guess I better skip over to the side over here to talk to you. I I guess. <laughs> uh, I uh yeah I hear it. Go do what you gotta do. Yeah. <sighs> I can still hear you. Yeah, I know. We're in a dark woods. And it looks like the lights have gone out. Oh, oh no. How are we going to get back to the hotel? <laughs> That's all right. When I go back, I can do into a uh, transformation, you know? I can turn back and come cap noir. I have night vision, remember? <laughs> Whenever there's a damsel in distress, I, I can always take care of that. <laughs> I guess it's time. You know, just because you detransform doesn't mean you can't talk to me. I know you're near. You smell like can bear still. Ugh. <laughs> oh, Black. This is your fault. <laughs> uh. Huh? I'm going to have a little talk to her. What? Oh, don't you leave me here in the dark. I don't know about this place. I know nothing about Brazil or any of its islands or... Hey, hey, hey. I'll be nearby. Besides, you're not too far from where she is.
<sighs> All right, go ahead. Thank you, dear master, friend, whatever. Mm -hmm. So, dark locks, are you going to say anything? Tell him the truth. Don't keep it from him. But, he's here too, on the other side. You know what? I'm kind of wrong about this myself. It isn't right. But you two told me to keep it a secret. Yeah, but forever? It's been months. You can't keep him in the dark forever. Hmm. Are you still there? Yes. I'm thinking that... I guess I can transform again and take you. This was nice. Open up, Marinette. I need to validate my feelings. Now? I mean, we don't have to. No, no, no. Go right ahead. I mean, please first. Oh. You. You and I insist. Go ahead. Mm -mm. Here's your chance, Marinette. Well, I'm not into the heart business, but speak from the heart. You do have a big heart, Black. You saved me from. Style queen. I do owe this to him, don't I? Indubitably. But it's all up to you. This is your call, Marinette. Your call alone. 